crossing um Pasigua. Um, they're heading toward the river was a spoiler I gave. Um, do you have any idea how to read this kanji? It looked very familiar. Um, this is do. It's actually doro from dorobo. Doro. So, doro, then bo. Do you know what doro means? This bowl is stick. Um, stick. Ah, uh, stick is bowl. Doro. Like, oh, do I, 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 I'm being bowl. confusing. Doro is muddy. Hi, muddy. Perfect. Doro, muddy. Um, can you read this part for me? Hi. Um. It's nioi ga madayo to yote kite. Uh, nioi is the smell of some sort. Right. And um, the smell is described as being tada yote kite. It's kind of more like it's, doing it. It's doing, yeah. It's it's coming towards him. Hi. Exactly. And it's tarayote. So tadayo is a weird is, word. Um, it basically is saying something is wafting toward you. You know what that means? Like if uh, at, that's like, for example, if you hold something and you put your hand and you kind of fan your face to smell it, that's wafting something toward you. So like the idea is that the right. smell is com it's something coming toward you through wind is what um, tadayo means. Something which is something smell does. Right. So a human's probably not gonna tell you toward you unless maybe they they're they have like a floating magical ability or something. But that basically it means to float on the wind. All right. Um right. a ghost could. Yeah. The idea is that the if the ghost is doing it, the ghost is not controlling its direction. It's kind of just randomly floating. Right. Uh, a balloon would okay. probably uh, do that if it's low on helium. Uh, do you recognize this kanji? First one we've seen in this book, but it's a common kanji for people to know. Sakana. Yep, sakana. Perfect. Yes. Can you read this for me? Do, doro to sakana no nioi ga tarayote. The, the smell the smell of fish and mud diffuse floating towards me I just would say come toward me or something like that I I don't know if you really have like what would we really say in English waft toward me I guess Float. I don't think we in English we use the word float to refer to smells coming toward you. The smell of the fart floated mm. toward me. I don't know if we'd say that. Hmm. What would we say? But it hit me. <laughs> Definitely something we might say. Um, do you recognize this kanji? Oh, like barbecuing something. So, yeah, so yeah, kind yeah. of. So yaku, yaki, yaki, yaku, look, um, yaki, yaki no yaku. It looks like this, and this is kind of similar to that, but this is actually moeru, which doesn't have to do with cooking. Moeru is to burn, in general, to have something blazing. So the heat is the one doing the moeru. The fire blazes. The fire burns. So it's fieriness. Well, the yaku you're thinking of is to burn like cook burn food um so this is a that's something you do to an object of cooking it well this is more like the burning action so if your food is moitad um it's like burnt and like charcoal so this would be an accident if you moitad your food you'd be very sad um I so, sunabi was a word we saw a while ago, 
This is specifically a flame that is basically flaming itself, not from wood, right? 